You know, it's hard for me not to compare every display that comes into the studio with, well, Apple's new studio display. And that's because, honestly, as an Apple fanboy, that's the display that I want to want. But at its current price point, it's just too hard to justify. And with ViewSonic's new offering, they're out to make sure I can never justify that price, as this has it all for $500 less. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to the Granite Geek Show. Today, we are taking a look at the ViewSonic VP3268A 4K monitor. Yeah, I guess they're just playing games with us as far as the titles go now. This thing is a 32-inch 4K behemoth of a pro monitor. We're gonna walk through everything. It's gonna start with, obviously, aesthetics and the way that it looks, followed by I.O. and then features, and of course, setup and performance, because that's the reason you're really here. So hit the subscribe button and listen, hit the subscribe button because I've got a ton of monitors coming in from several different manufacturers, and it's all leading up to one big showdown you're not gonna wanna miss. So also click the bell and hit the like button as we cover all things Apple Talk, iPad Pro, and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Grant Jr., it's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, so the first category is aesthetics, but let me preface this entire review with this one phrase, it's for the pros. If you keep that in mind, it will help you interpret everything that this monitor has to offer, and there is a lot. With that being said, aesthetically, there's some things to desire with this display. Now, of course, it's got a beautiful stand here. I know this gorgeous shot here is just making it look so amazing. It's got slim bezels, super slim bezels, the thinnest that I've seen on any of the monitors that have come into the studio, including HP and LG, you name it. Um, but the build is plastic as far as the stand goes, and it leaves some things to be desired. Now it's fully functional. Again, it's for the pros. It articulates down. Uh, it's also uh, weight calibrated, so it's able to slide down easily. With one hand, you can lift it up um, as high as that. It, I obviously showed you it panned left and right, and it can also tilt, which is really good. Um, but the stand itself is plastic. The base is metal, but it's got a plastic shell on it. And I think we've been a little spoiled by the Apple Studio display, and I think people have blown the metal build uh, out of proportion a little bit. For the most part, you're looking at the display. At most of the, of the build of the monitor, you're going to see the neck, which sticks out from the bottom, and the foot. So I'm not really crazy about, oh, it has to be metal. But uh, when you look at comparisons with, say, HP's display series, for instance, their U32, uh, that comes in at half the price of this display, and it does have an aluminum stand, but the monitor itself does have a plastic shell. So this has a plastic shell and a plastic stand, um, but it is a beautiful and elegant stand itself being plastic. Now, next up, let's talk about I.O. And again, remember, it's for the pros. It's got two HDMI ports. These are HDMI 1.4 ports. And so not the latest and greatest, but it'll definitely get you working with a 4K workflow. It also has DisplayPort 1.2. It also comes with USB-C and a USB 3 hub that works via USB 3B, it's called. It's that weird looking connector. And it has two USB 3 ports uh, at full speed Gen 1. So it's definitely got enough to get you going as far as I.O. if you got dongles or licensed USB sticks like an iLock or something, those will work just fine in the back of this. It's also got an Ethernet port for my really hardcore pros, and that's something that I, you know, you, you're not gonna see on any of these displays that, oh, you know, they're for pros and they have color. This really, in terms of the features, has all the things that you might need when it comes to a pro workflow, including the Ethernet, which is fantastic. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, but it's important in the post iPhone world, it has a headphone jack. Okay, category number three, let's talk features. And this thing does have some incredible features. Obviously, it's a 31 and a half inch 4K 60 hertz display. So you're gonna get super smooth animations, super crisp text and all those things. But here's the feature that I think just blows me away and is super useful and is gonna be very useful once again for the pros. It has a display manager 
software that you can download from Mac or PC and control the display parameters from your operating system. No, not reaching behind the display and clicking the buttons. By the way, I feel like all the manufacturers need work when it comes to just the basic controls and the basic menu of the display, but hey, that's not where they're putting a lot of their money. From color profiles and brightness, you name it, different energy saving preferences, uh, the whole nine right on that software. So that is one unique feature that I haven't seen on any of the displays sent over here. Um, and that's a game changer for me. Oftentimes I use a dual display setup and I overlap the borders to get the thinnest border possible. Next category number four, let's talk about setup. And this is super easy actually, as easy as one, two, three. You plug in power, you plug in the display, and you plug in your USB-C hub. And you're pretty much ready to go. Setup is easy because it's color calibrated straight from the factory. So you are getting ready to go accurate colors right out the box. If you wanted to make a fourth thing to set up, you could say the color profile or color space that you wanna use, whether it's Rec. 709 or Display P3, you name it. And there's a manual with a QR code that you can scan and get your full color report online, save that to your computer uh, so that you know how your display is going to uh, perform in different color spaces, etc. Fantastic, fantastic tool uh, to have for pro work. And finally, let's talk about performance, the real reason you clicked on this video. And I'm gonna start straight off the bat, I'm not gonna waste your time. It is the most beautiful and accurate display that I have used as a daily driver. Now, of course, I've seen the studio display in the Apple Store, but as far as displays and panels that I've tested here in studio, it is by far the best. A close second would be the HP Z series, which we're gonna talk about in its own separate video. If it's already up, then click the link here or down in the description description below. But the problems that I've had with the HP series, mainly the U32 that I've tested in the Z series 27 inch creator monitor is one thing and it's really not a bad thing. It is the blue light filter. It's called Easy Eyes and it protects your retina from harmful blue light that will damage it over time, especially for long sessions where you're looking at the display for a long time. You see, they say that it will make no difference on the viewing experience. But what I've seen comparing the HP panels versus the ViewSonic versus the LG versus others, it is tinted to the yellow side. And here's the thing, I think that's something that should be completely done in software. Apple has their night mode. Many computers have software you can download to tint or reduce blue light on the panel. And so I can do that in the daytime or when I'm not doing color critical work. But the problem becomes when I'm doing color critical work, editing videos just like this one, forget my eyes, right? I just want accuracy. And if there's a yellow tint, then I'm more likely to tilt and tint or push the colors to the bluer spectrum. Most people will not recognize if you push the colors blue one way or the other. Uh, but if you have no room for error or very little room for error, this is the panel to go with. Now, as far as contrast, color, sharpness, all those things, the quality of the panel itself is top notch. You're not gonna have any issues with it. No dead pixels coming out of the box, uh, no issues like that. The only thing that I wish more displays had um, is just a glossy, just a glossy, super reflective, I don't care, because the matte finish, even if it just does it a little bit, it's going to blur that image on your display. And that's always something that manufacturers are trying to become better at, able to reduce glare and reflections while still making it crisp and crystal clear. This is very good, and in no way am I saying that this is an issue with this panel, but you know it could just be a little bit better. And I think for a monitor that goes basically to the top when it comes to color accuracy and performance and those things, it's like they should offer a glossy version. So hey ViewSonic, if you're watching this, a glossy version would be incredible. And this is mainly because, yes, you're trying to reduce reflections, but how many people are working on this at the beach or in a super bright area? Often we're in the studio. So you're more often than not in a controlled lighting environment. And that's not just for video, even in studios they have controlled lighting, whether that's for setting the mood or whatever, um, there's just not a whole ton of light. Of course, if you're working in a bright office, and I think that's where a lot of manufacturers make these monitors for ideally in a bright sky rise or something like that, they want the anti-glare. But I think for color critical, mission critical work, 
if you're buying this display, you're doing work in a, in a lighting controlled environment. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. Now, interestingly enough, the Apple Studio display comes with glossy and you have to pick an extra option in order to get the matte finish. So something to think of, but overall guys, this display, the best one that I've tested so far, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, again, the only downside of this display, I would say is build quality with it being plastic. But again, I'm not a huge fan of it has to be metal. So um, if you're looking for a display that is for the pros, that's going to give you everything from Ethernet, HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-C, all those things, plus a super uh, color accurate, color calibrated out of the box display. Um, for under a thousand and then you can use that extra 500 to get you a nice pair of studio monitors the cali uh audio speakers are incredible the lp6s and the in8s i'm doing reviews on both of those uh links to that will be down in the description as well so check those out you can get the whole bundle for the same price as a studio display and that is why it's just it's super hard to recommend that studio display it just it just is and if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss as we cover all things Apple Talk, iPad Pro and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Crane Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.